Here we go again, lovely people. This one is another all beauty purchase. So they have a fantastic sale on. Here we go. Uh -huh. This is Cabotine Gold by Grey Paris Eau de Toilette. Really cute bottle. Super cute. And Jennifer Lopez Live. Fantastic. Let's open these up, shall we? Okay, so this is Jennifer Lopez. Okay, I'm going to confess now that I have no idea whether this is supposed to be live or live. So, here we go. Oh my giddy aunt, look at that bottle. Okay, I love the bottle. Green and purple, some of my favorite colors. This is such a fancy bottle. Oh, I love it. Okay, next one is... I'm going to open this one up. Look at that. So these are blind buys, which... Oh, check that out. Just embossed little flowers here. Beautiful. I'm surprised at how um, expensive this box looks, considering how cheap this perfume was. And it's an oriental floral perfume. <gasps> oh my days. Look at that. I cannot believe that this perfume only cost me 10 pounds it's got really good quality box you know with embossed details and some gold color there and then you've got this super impressive right let's try them on we're gonna start off with the Geneva Lopez now, I bought this because um, Notes from Josephine mentioned this in one of her videos, I think, or it was some other YouTuber. <laughs> it's all getting a little bit mixed up. But what I did find out was that the nose behind this perfume was um, Dominique Rubion, and he's the same guy who did Portrait of a Lady. Now, I have Portrait of a Lady as a sample, and it's a beautiful smelling perfume. It's like a million roses packed into one little sniff because I have roses. I love gardening and I've got quite a lot of rose bushes, but it's a very expensive perfume. <laughs> so I thought, OK, well, let me try something that he made before he hit the big time. And so this is the Jennifer Lopez one. So I love the bottle. Can I just say that the bottle design on this is amazing? I think this is to be my favorite bottle so far look at that so i'm expecting something to smell ethereal um but light so yeah let's have a look oh wow mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the top notes are supposed to be pineapple sicilian lemon italian orange there's some red currant blossom peony violet and the base notes are supposed to be caramel sandalwood tonka bean and vanilla so i think this is like the seventh perfume that i've bought now that has got vanilla and sandalwood as the base notes so i'm immediately getting that uh, similarity i can't say that i'm picking out any pineapple or anything like that, because if anything has got pineapple, I expect it to be sickeningly sweet. But one thing that I'm learning about perfume notes is that they don't necessarily smell like the real thing in real life, if that makes sense. 
uh, some do like roses. I think that they do, but it's like peonies. Uh, there are a couple of things that I've smelt that are supposed to have a very strong peony scent, but I have peonies in my garden and peonies don't have a very strong scent or anything like that. So yeah, but anyway, let's uh, have a sniff at this. Oh, oh, there we go. Nice little atomizer. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely getting sandalwood. Quite soapy right off the bat. A little bit tropically. <laughs> Although I don't know whether I'm seeing what I want to see because of the notes, but it does feel like a fresh tropical uh, vibe. I like it. I think it's quite sweet and quite fruity, but it feels a little bit more complex. Like I keep on wanting to smell it to get more out of it. Unlike say some other fragrances where I just smell it and I get just an initial thing. So it's quite intriguing in that regard. I like it. I mean, the combination of the bottle design and the pedigree just makes me really like this. Plus, you know, I kind of used to be a big fan of Jennifer Lopez back in the day. Not too sure what she's been up to recently, but I do like this. Looking forward to trying it on my skin and I will let you know how the longevity is and how it goes. Was it love its first sniff? Probably not. There's some other perfumes that I've just been like, oh. Oh my gosh, but this, it warrants a second date. Okay, moving on to the um, Grey Cabotine Gold. I got this after watching a notes from Josephine's video. I'll put the video link in the description box to go check her out. She's got so much knowledge about perfumes the full range of perfumes from like your budget celebrity perfumes you know all the way to whatever budget you have but fantastic information and i found very helpful so i was quite excited to try this out because the price point is also quite attractive i'm definitely not one for super 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 uh hideously expensive uh, perfumes i like smelling good but not so much so that i can't afford to pay for my five kids college funds so that's what it's like. So if that's your jam, if you like um, the perfume journey of somebody who is looking for good quality budget perfumes, then um, do subscribe <laughs> and also hit the like button. But here we go. So this one, when I looked up the note profile, I was very interested because it's got mandarin orange, uh, pink pepper and melon as the top notes. Although I'm quickly beginning to realize that <laughs> Top notes don't really matter all that much. What matters more are the middle and the base notes because uh, I've realized that the top notes, they kind of dissipate uh, quite quickly, uh, so to speak. So I'm learning to sort of disregard the top notes and not place too much weight on them. But the middle notes are jasmine, tiara flower and peony. So this one's also got peony, just like the live or live from JLo. And then the base notes are patchouli, vetiver and amber. Uh, patchouli I'm familiar with because I have patchouli essential oil as part of my essential oils uh, kit. Amber, I'm not too familiar with what to expect from an amber smell. And vetiver is something that is quite new to me, although I think it's the one that's used in Creed fragrances. I think it's one of their base things, but I may be quite wrong. But yeah, let's have a smell. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Clean, golden, <laughs> which is quite funny because it's called gold <laughs> and crisp. Mm -mm. Let's see. Gonna spray you. Ooh, I love the handle of this bottle. It just holds so nicely. It fits into my hand. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, this is, it's dazzling. It's very, very vivid. It's not sweet. 
This is not a sweet smell at all. I'm not thinking sweet, bubbly, lovely. Dare I say it, there's a little bit of sourness to it. <sighs> Getting a little bit of melon. Mm, the jasmine is beginning to come through now. I'm definitely getting the jasmine. Mm. Oh my days, this is quite... This is possibly one of the most sophisticated perfumes I've come across. And by sophisticated, I mean that each time I'm holding it up to my nose, I'm getting different things that I'm distinctly picking up on. But it's dry. It's not... um. It's not luscious. I'm not thinking of like juicy tropical vibes with it. Wow. 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 Love this. But what I'm getting from this is that this is sophisticated. I'm not going to be wearing this perfume whilst I'm wearing my uh, sort of girly vintage style dresses. This is for when I'm like wanting to feel like a you know top top class uh, moments this is very very classy and i cannot believe that this was only 10 pounds so wow um i love the perfume youtubers because they are just teaching me so much and introducing me to so many wonderful perfumes and that's really really fantastic i like this i really like this and i'm excited to try this on my skin because it looks like it's got a lot going on and possibly something that develops. I don't know about the longevity, but I will be back with a video uh, talking about this. So these were the two other all beauty purchases um, that I got that YouTube made me buy. Love the bottles. I think that the bottles are very nice and very classy. Thank you so much for watching again, guys. You know, I'm crazy about perfumes. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye.